While millennials will dominate consumer purchases and pricing power by the year 2025, this is why businesses must keep them engaged to secure brand loyalty. With more details, it's Jill Malandrino, VOA business correspondent, reporting from the NASDAQ market site in New York City. Her Majesty the Queen honored three millennials from Nigeria dedicated to changing lives on Tuesday. The Queen's Young Leaders is a unique community of influential change makers, all represent 52 Commonwealth countries. The winners were announced on Tuesday and will receive their award from Her Majesty the Queen at a special ceremony at Buckingham Palace in London next year. Areas of work they are being honored for include women's rights, programming and coding, and mental health. Millennials are those who were born in 1982 and roughly the 20 years that followed. People in these years sometimes get a bad rap of being the me generation and entitled, but this could all be a problem of perception between the generations. For example, millennials place a great deal of value on flexible work schedules and using technology as a means of being more productive, according to Monster, a global online recruiting service. So it's not that millennials don't respect desk sitting, they do. They just think they're more productive ways to be well, more productive. So let's take a look at some stats courtesy of the Nigerian millennial report globally by 2025 75 percent of the workforce will be millennials and that means they will be the influencers of purchasing power and that consumption of online content would increase by at least 100 percent with that in mind millennials can't and won't be ignored and this is exactly why businesses in nigeria and worldwide need to get their messaging right by targeting the age group cultural interests and location they are looking for content that is educational, entertaining, relative, and incorporate visual representation. The report says that YBNL, they're great at creating content for their songs that dominate Nigerian pop culture and simply talk the environment in everyday activities. P-Square also excelled at one point with content because they understood Nigerians and spoke Nigerian. Now, Channels TV, they also get it right as its flagship show broadcasts at 10 p.m. when mobile millennials are especially active and channels and encourages strong engagement on social platforms so viewers feel really connected. All these techniques create brand loyalty and that is ultimately what drives the bottom line for business. From the NASDAQ market site in New York, I'm Jill Malandrino and this is Africa 54 Business News.